absolutely love about um, French way of life. They they source things locally, they go to the markets, if not daily, every second day they get their, their bread and if asparagus in season they'll pick up a bunch and and it's it's just a beautiful way of life. Mm. It's just you know we don't do it in Australia so much. But it does really work with the slow food movement, doesn't it? Mm. It's, it's really much the same. So whilst I wasn't really thinking of opening a slow food cafe, I just wanted to be French and to, to um, you know, use those the way that they, they live and, and do their food and use things that are in season and have low food miles. Just use what's local, you know, wherever possible. Right. I get beautiful organic buckwheat flour. So in um, in Brittany, in France, they do a beautiful galette, a buckwheat galette. And you can make it completely gluten-free. So I, I just add a little bit of um, gluten-free flour with the organic buckwheat flour that I get from the co-op, and I make a gluten-free uh, crepe. So all of my savoury crepes at the cafe are gluten-free, but they're also organic. Um, well, predominantly, you know, the crepe itself is. Um, I get um, free-range eggs from a local supplier. Um, I also source a beautiful chèvre or goat curd from Jane goat curd, which is just beautiful. Mm. And we also use Chunky Creek bacon and ham and Toulouse sausage of all things they make a Toulouse sausage and so that's on the menu and it's really popular but the bacon is beautiful mm -hmm. it is double smoked but they're a free range piggery or pretty much free range piggery and they don't use hormones or antibiotics and it's just top quality mm -hmm. really beautiful oh, <laughs> classic French cafe fair croque monsieurs um, croque madames, um, I actually do uh, a burger which is very popular, I use a brioche bun, so not very healthy, but uh, I make a, an apple slaw, I make my own sauces, so I make my own mayonnaise, make all of my own sauces and dressings, um, but I slow cook pork belly in duck fat for about six hours, just very slowly, and it's just to die for. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have um, here at our place a little orchard and uh, whenever we have excess, which is often, um, I incorporate it into the menu. So uh, rhubarb's looking good and I've got a beautiful rhubarb uh, cake on the menu at the moment and I serve that with a fresh strawberry sauce and fresh cream. Mm. We have uh, Jerusalem artichokes, and I make a, a Jerusalem artichoke and potato soup, which is beautiful. So in the last year, I have added to my uh, to my bow. I'm I'm now a beekeeper. That's a great thing, and I do love my honey. <laughs> <laughs>